my name is Spencer Mason, and I'm with North Carolinians for Home Education. Right. Uh, even for graduation, uh, it's the parents, the homeschool parents, that determine what are the requirements for graduation. And I've known some homeschool parents that require the student to memorize one of the synoptic gospels uh, before, they can, before their student can graduate. To me, that would have been a major challenge. Uh, but other parents uh, require their child to be able to build a, a, a cabinet and do cabinet work making. So it depends on what the student wants to do when they graduate. Now, I know our students, wanted to, all of them wanted to go to college. And three of our kids wanted to go to a, a liberal arts college. That meant uh, two years of foreign language for those, those students. I had one student that wanted to go to an engineering school. Well, that meant four years of, of uh, mathematics for that student. So, it, so sometimes if they're interested in going to college, you yeah. want to tailor their high school experience to fit the admissions requirements of the particular college or the type of college that they're interested in. If your student is interested in going into college, even a technical school or a community college, you need to find out what the admissions requirements are for those students. Now, one of the big advantages of our community college in the state of North Carolina is you can get involved in the Career and College Promise Program, which is a dual enrollment program, and the student can get college credits that can count as also as high school credits. And once he's in that program, he's already in college. And so it's not a, a matter of getting the admissions requirements at that point in time. He's already a, a college student, and he can just continue on once he graduates from high school. Now you have to pay tuition after that. But other than that, uh, he's already uh, going to have hours accumulated if he's part of that program.